My first car was also my dad's first successful DIY vehicle. When I was 16, my dad woke me up in the middle of the night. How much money do you have, he asked me. What? Why? Total? $800. No. I'm saving it. If you give me your money now, I'll make sure you get a car. I couldn't believe he was asking me, pressuring me to fork over all the money I'd saved up in the world. He was dead serious, and he was a salesman, and I knew that he was going to counter me at every turn, basically leave me no choice but to give in, since I couldn't walk away. He told me that he really needed the money, and I guessed it was true, considering he had woken me up to ask for it. So I pulled out my checkbook right then, and I gave him my first check, a check for $800. He promised to make sure I got a car which is what I had worked after school all year for and the summer before. I was going to be away for the summer and didn't need it right away, but still, I felt like I couldn't trust him to find me a decent car. His history with cars was famous in our family. Blister in the Sun, Goldie, The Awful Stick, and The Frank and Omni were my mom's nicknames for the most notorious members of my dad's family of Dodge Omni and Plymouth Horizon cars. Several years after acquiring and trying to learn the mechanics of the 1978 four-door diesel Mercedes, my dad gave up, let two of them rot in the back of our one-and-a-half-acre property, and decided to move his interests to mid-80s year Omnis. Dodge Omnis and Plymouth Horizons are identical cars that came out as the American version of the Volkswagen Rabbit. My dad bought one from a friend, found another for a steal at an auction, and just kept finding them and buying them. He claimed that they were cheap, easy to maintain cars that he could learn the mechanics of and always have at least one running. In no time, several of the small hatchbacks were littering our yard. My mom started naming them out of necessity. We had a barn. For a while. Blister in the Sun was named because it was parked too close when the barn caught fire. The black paint job melted, bubbled, and peeled on one whole side. At the time, my dad wasn't into body work. He just wanted to get cars running. So Blister in the Sun stayed that way for a long time. It looked scary, sort of like a demolition car, and reminded me of Freddy Krueger movies. The Franken Omni was the car that all of us laughed at the most. It was visibly pieced together from a bunch of other Omnis. It was the first one that he got, and it showed up without a hood. I remember asking him what happened, and he said that it had rolled, but the engine was still perfect, and so was the interior. It started out as a maroon car, and he had it fitted with the hood from a blue Omni and the door from a silver one. It was his main project car. Once he had replaced the missing body parts, he fired up his compressor and worked on painting the car, just out in the open since the barn was gone at that point. At first sight, Goldie was the most embarrassing of all the cars. It had a bright gold paint job and looked really trashy parked in our yard. Finally, my dad got it running and sold it to my uncle who claimed that it quit running right when he got home. My dad wouldn't offer him his money back, but did offer to work on it when he had the chance. The awful stick was the most reliable of all the Omnis, and my mom would have to drive it when her van was having trouble. The awful stick was silver and had a hard clutch. One day, she took me to the store with her and had to drive up a steep hill to the parking lot. She just kept killing it on the hill. The car would roll down the hill as she would take her foot off the brake and she just couldn't get it going. And then someone pulled in behind us and she kept killing it and kept rolling back right into him over and over. Finally, he backed off and gave her some room and she got it started and gunned it. I never rode in that car again. I hated all those cars. We all did. I had my eye on a Mazda that my neighbor was selling. Before I gave my dad all my money, I was only around $300 away from being able to buy it. I thought my dad should have just bought me the car, and I dreamed all summer that maybe he would. At the end of the summer, my mom called me. Your dad has the Franken Omni ready for you, and I'm going to get the title switched to your name this week. What? That car? Part of me was totally disappointed, but she told me it was running, and she said that she had driven it, and it was fine. I had no choice. That was to be my new car. 
When I came home, I found the car sitting in the driveway, all washed and ready for me. It looked good for an Omni. The paint on the hood and the door had already started to peel off, and the original colors were showing underneath a little bit. But this was my car now. I ditched the Frank and Omni name right away, and started calling it Little Car. It was compact and fun, and it ran like a charm. I never had any problems other than a couple of flat tires, and I had plenty of spares, and a dead battery. I drove it my last year of high school, four years of college, and moved to my first apartment in it. I put over 100,000 miles on the car, and it ran flawlessly for 13 years to everyone's amazement. He did it. My dad made me a car. And it only cost me $800 and a little faith. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs>